What's going on, Dawkin fam, and welcome back to the channel. If you guys have been enjoying the videos, be sure to smash that like and subscribe button. And today, I'm going to show you how to raise the super attack of Extreme AGL Super 17 without using any Elder Kai's. And if you've missed any of my other videos showing how to raise the super attacks of units without Elder Kai's, I'll post a link to that playlist down in the info section below, as well as in the end card at the end of the video. So make sure you watch until the end. Now this unit is great because he is the team leader for your extreme AGL team. So if you have him and you haven't bothered awakening him yet, or raising his super attack, make sure you get on it. Uh, the first thing we have to do though, before we can boost his super attack, is we're gonna have to reverse him. I've already Doc and Awakened mine, or TUR'd him, so <clears throat> what I'm gonna have to do is click on him, and then reverse him back to his original form. It's very painful to do this, because <laughs> I'm always low on these damn reverse charms. Here we go, these hourglasses. So now he's in his original form, now we can get to business. So in his original form, there are two units that you can use to boost his super attack without using Elder Kai's. So we're gonna go to Awaken, click on Type, Acquired, and AGL and Fizz. And these are the two units right here, guys. You can either use the physical version, Black and Heart Android 17, or you can use first step of the plan, Hellfighter 17. As you guys can see, they're both SR units, which means they're pretty easy to get. Um, I usually get a lot of the tech ones. It's just how my, how my luck rolls in this game. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how to do it with the tech version, but what I'm gonna do is list the medals and zenny you need for each, well, not the Zenny, the Zenny's gonna be the same. I'm gonna list the medals that you need for each unit as I go through the steps, even though I'm only doing the tech one. So thumbs up for the extra work. All right, so the first thing you have to do, obviously, is you have to max out the level. So mine's already maxed out at 60, so if yours isn't maxed out yet, go into training and max out the level. And then you're gonna go from SR to SSR, and the way you do that is you're gonna need 20 Gregory medals, 10 Mr. Popo, five Bobbities, and you're gonna need one King Kai. As Soon as you get all your medals, it's gonna cost 560,000 Zenny. You're gonna click Z Awaken, and he is going to turn into the SSR version of himself. Now, once he's SSR, now it gets a little bit more difficult, especially if you're kinda new to the game, because you're gonna have to collect 21 medals from the Ultimate Android mission. Now, that mission, it, it can be hard, but it's also not hard at the same time. The most difficult part of that mission is when you fight him in his final stage and he starts putting out his barrier. Like guys, I went back and forth once with my Super AGL team and my Super AGL team is like stacked. You know, I have four rainbow characters. I usually always have full key meters and basically when he's in his final form, he puts out a barrier and if you hit, you hit him with a key blast, I can basically recharge all like seven bars of his health with one key blast from my Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And so sometimes it's like out of your hands if the rolls are bad. You have to make sure you have units on your team that do physical damage. So for example, my Super Saiyan 3 Goku or my Super Vegito do physical damage. And so that's how you take him out. But once you get past all that, you, you'll figure it out. You get the medals, it's gonna cost 21 medals. Now, when you put the 21 medals in, he transforms. It's a dark and awakening. And he's gonna transform into power born of ambition, Super 17. Once he's transformed, he will be back to the SSR state, or still be SSR state. And so what you're gonna have to do is awaken him again. Because guys, you cannot get a, you, I mean you could do SSR, and go for a 50% chance, but if you want that 100% chance, so you're not wasting time, zenny, or metals, you gotta awaken him again, and obviously it costs a lot more to go from SSR to UR when you have the Dock and Awaken version. So it's gonna cost 50 Gregory medals, 20 Mr. Popos, 10 Bobbities, three King Kais, and one Supreme Kai, and almost two million in zenny. But once you click Z Awaken to get him to the UR form, you can go back to training, and then you can select your AGL 
Super 17. And then as you guys can see, it's gonna give you a 100% chance for both the physical version and the tech version of this unit. So my, I am actually using those two because I collect CADs, so I'm not gonna do it on screen. I just wanted to show you guys how to get to this point because uh, I'm actually working on open up all, opening all their hidden paths. But as you can see, um, the SSR version, only 50%, so no good. So if you guys are working on your Super 17, your AGL Super 17, reverse them, go through all these steps, and then you'll be able to max out his super attack in no time at all. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like and subscribe button. And if you're digging what I'm wearing, make sure you check out JustSaying.co. I have a promo code for 10% off. It's very easy. It's Herman10. <laughs> and as I said, the entire playlist is going to show up for you guys for all the other units that I've covered as soon as I'm done talking. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>